Bitcoin printed a brand new all-time high above our previous all-time high of $69,000 back from November 2021. It took a few years, right? But we got it. We got the brand new all-time high in 2024 on the Bybit chart. So, you know, that's what I was very focused on. Ending in a swing failure pattern, a bearish reaction. We got a 15% drop to the downsides. So now in this video, I want to be telling you exactly what I am looking at next. The upcoming trades that we have, my bias, okay, and exactly how we can be profiting from these major moves. Again, this video might be slightly longer than normal, but I want to ask of you one thing, please, and that is try and remove the emotions that are going to be flowing through you right now. Maybe you are euphoric, maybe you are fearful, maybe you are just very confused right now. Please try and your best to Forget those emotions for now. Concentrate on the technical analysis and what I'm looking at next. Why? Because I honestly, truly, from my heart, believe I can help you with this video. I really believe I can help you. I just need you to pay attention and open yourself up. Open yourself up to learn in this video. I will teach you in this video and I need you to take in those teachings and accept and really try your best to learn. Because I already know there will be some confusion. Why? Because I was bullish expecting new all-time highs. We're gonna come down on a lower term time frame. I was bullish expecting all-time highs at this section of the chart. You know, I was long and chill. I was, you know, not taking any short trades. I was looking and expecting new all-time highs to come on buy bits. okay? So at this section of the chart, I'm very bullish. Okay, why? Because I have a target, I have a plan. That is that we will be making new all-time highs. We come on to make a new all-time high. We take out $69,000. We take out that November 21 all-time high on buy bit. For me, that is a bearish reaction that I am shorting. Why? Because it ends in a swing failure pattern, something I was very much prepared for. Okay, so I've gone from bullish to taking a short trade, which some people get confused about. And now you might, you could potentially get confused because we did after that have a 15% drop to the downsides. But I have now taken a long trade. I am expecting now new all time highs to be made. So let's go and take out $70,000. Why? Because I was also prepared for a drop and then a subsequent rise to the upside. So there will be people that are confused. I already can predict that. I've read some of the comments too, right? Called it, next video is gonna be bearish in hell, more bipolar than a, than a more bi whatever, like people thinking I'm gonna be very bearish. I'm not, I am actually bullish. I am expecting new all-time highs again. But it's like this guy replies like, Everything that I had previously gone through was all laid out in a private live stream for the champions in the morning, detailing different scenarios and how to react to each one. He was spot on. I want to educate you in this video of how I can go from bullish to bearish back to bullish and not be viewed as some kind of flip-flop trader that doesn't know what he's doing. There is a method behind the madness. There is a plan to follow. And if you listen closely, you alongside us can be extracting profits from this mad market. You know, people are confused. They don't really know what's gonna be going on, right? They don't know what to expect, and that is normal. As a newer trader in this market, I do think a lot of people are extremely confused on this move. How can you get a big move to the upside, big move to the downside, big move back up? What is going on here? Well, let me explain it to you. And then, of course, I will be explaining what we are looking at next, why I am bullish, what we can be looking at as our major targets. Coming back to the Elliott Wave counts, I'm going to be educating you a lot in this video. I'm going to really try them at the best from my heart I want to help. So let me attempt that in the best way I can and let's start going over the technical analysis together. So I would like to explain the past, you know, 48 hours, first of all, to really extract in detail what's going on here, get the context, and that helps us to look for what's coming next, which I, as I mentioned, do believe it is still bullish. It is going to be a new all-time high once again. So as mentioned, I did short the all-time high, right? So once again, I had a lovely short trade from $69,000, which felt good. <laughs> really simply, my friends, uh, I had a plan. Just as when we came to the weekly, right? Remember we had a weekly? I said, I'm not shorting the weekly because I expect it to be broken. Just as then yesterday, 
I said a video, I'm not shorting the retest here of the all time high that was taken out on the CME, or of course, wasn't shorting the retest here on Bybit because I was expecting a new all time high to be made. I was remaining patient, long and chill for a new all time high. If we had come here and rejected heavily, I would have totally missed the short and I would have been very, very wrong on my prediction. Very wrong and lost a lot. <laughs> Thankfully, my patience did pay off. Why? Because we printed the new all-time high. I have my alerts coming off. I have my full focus on the chart of what's happening here at all-time high. And we end in a simple swing failure pattern. So I'm remaining patient for 69,200 to be hit, to print the new all-time high, to get my alerts. And then we done it. The patience paid off greatly. We printed the new all-time high and it really simply ended in a swing failure pattern. So that is, of course, a nice short trade entry. Why? Because you are planned and you are prepared for if we get a swing failure pattern, you take the short trade entry. OK, we got the swing failure pattern of all time high. So we get a nice short trade entry. There's nothing else to contemplate. There's nothing else to think upon. It's simple as that. Trade the charts. If we are waiting patiently for a level, that level gets hit. Yes, I made a video a few hours earlier saying I am bullish, I am long and chill. But if you listened closely, I said I am bullish, I am long and chill until we hit a new all time high on Bybit. And then it's absolutely of massive important, crucial information of what is the reaction? Do we get a legit breakout? Will we break the range and flip it into support? And then we can look for higher above $70,000? Or do we get a failed auction or swing failure pattern? Well, we hit the new all time high, get a bearish reaction, and then of course we get a short trade. If that is at all confusing to you, I really, really, from my heart recommend that you educate yourself. Whether it is via me or somebody else, you need to educate yourself because that is something that we are prepared and really able to extract profits from in that is not a difficult trade. It's not that hard. You just have to be very well prepared, which of course I prepared my champions with the live stream in the morning explaining for that swing failure pattern short trade setup where we'll be looking to take it back down to around that $60,000, right? That was our level of confluence. We got the reaction, we take the short trade. Price drops 15% to the downside, a very big quick drop, but very nice indeed if you have been prepared and you took that short trade. Of course, we lock in, take profits on the way. Personally locked in at VWAP, then we had a massive confluence zone around 61,500 of support, okay? And as we come down and we hit this support, we get a lovely reaction indeed. What actually happens? 15% drop, a day will be remembered. It was very, very nice indeed, that drop. But what happens? We come down, we hit that confluence zone, we got a lovely further wick to take out 60,000 psychological. Okay, so as I told my team last night, as this is happening, I know, I, it, it, no hindsight here, I'm telling as I'm seeing it, as I'm reading it, and I tell my team, this is a very nice now long trade entry, taking, based off the entries, taking out 60,000 psychological, we end with a very big wick to the downside, taking out $60,000, hitting the naked point of control that we had just below that, and also ending in a swing failure pattern now off of the lows. So we have these series of lows here. We have ended in a swing failure pattern of those lows, taking out $60,000, coming down to a large support zone that we were ready and waiting for in the morning. So just as I was prepared to take the short at the high, which I did based off of the reaction, I was also very prepared to take a long trade on a pullback to around 60K based off the reaction, which we got, and I confirmed to my team. So you can see I'm confirming, I'm, I'm planning for the short, and I'm confirming in the time that I have taken that short trade based off the reaction. Just as I was also then prepared for a long on a drop based off the reaction which I get, and then I confirmed to my team that this is the long trade off of the plan that we was waiting for. So, you know, just taking now a minute to summarize this before I move on to what I'm looking at next. Some people may say and comment, you know, I'm bipolar because I'm able to 
short and take longs. And, you know, I, I read through the comments, people were frustrated uh, that there, there were a lot of people that were pretty angry. Uh, how can you be shorting uh, when you were so bullish in a previous video? How can you now be bullish when you were shorting in a previous, you know, there's a lot of people very confused how I can be bullish and bearish and back to bullish. And I and I really say it's it's all because I'm prepared, I'm planned. I am not ultra bearish when taking these short trades. Neither am I ultra uh, bullish when I'm taking these longs. No, I am a neutral trader that trades the charts. Hey, if I'm planned for a short off of all time high and I get their action, I'm going to take the short trade, as I told my team live in the time. And if I'm prepared and planned for a drop that comes to support, and gets a nice reaction, I'm prepared and happy to take the long trade. As I told my team yesterday, I took that long trade, right? 8 p.m. last night. Hell, here we are from 8 p.m. last night, up another nearly 8% to the upside. Okay, so that's how I do it. I'm not bipolar. <laughs> I just trade the charts as a professional trader that loves to win his trades and extract profit from this market. And if that is something you would like to do, rather than getting angry or frustrated, let me help you. Let me educate you. Let me give you the skills so you can do this yourself. Of course, I focus maybe on the 5% that get frustrated, but 95% of the champions are happy, are understanding, and are able to extract those profits with me. You can see some of the money shots. Showed you yesterday, a lot of people shorting alongside me at $69,000. Okay, look at this. Last time we hit it, he was buying. This time he was watching the order flow and took a short trade, able to extract profits on the drop, right? And then just as we're able to extract profits on the drop, we're able to then take long trades to bring it back up. Longs around 59,900, longs around 62,000, 61,000, right? So you can see we as knowledgeable tool traders can do that. And that's something I want to let you do. I'll not let you do you. You have a free will. You can do whatever you want. But if you are open to my teachings, then I can help you in this market. And I think it's as simple as that as what I wanted to go through. So now I want to explain what I'm looking at next. OK, so I have mentioned, even though, again, very similar situation to what I've been going on over the past few days. Some people really wanted to short the weekly. I said, I'm not shorting the weekly. I'm expecting higher. Some people really wanted to short the retest here, thinking, oh, we've took out this heat, the all-time high on CME. They wanted to short the retest, stop loss above the all-time high. Well, we all know how that ended for the last two shorts of the weekly and the retest, stopped out, stopped out. Again, we have the situation. A lot of people are going to be thinking, that's the new all-time high. This is the retest. I'm going to short here, stop loss above the high. What well, I am going to be saying once again, that I am not taking this retest short. I am expecting new all-time highs. Okay, I have closed out of this short already. You know, I'm, I'm not holding on to stop loss. I've took my take profits. I've now entered a long trade and I am, yes, expecting the all-time high. So let me explain now the targets. So one thing that I'm following closely, of course, after we bought this pullback was something very connected to my Elliott Wave count. And I actually had, I love this, when a bullish and a bearish count lines up together. And this happened at $48,000, as you know, on the rise at $48,000. Okay, here, okay, let me just zoom out a little bit. The rise to $48,000 here, I took a short trade because I had a bullish and a bearish count lining up together, which said when we hit $48,000, there's a very high probability of a rejection and a pullback. As we all know, that ended in a 20% drop to the downside, over 20% drop to the downside. In the end, of course, ending in a failed auction of the low, and we got our way back up, which was fine. I made profits on that too, right? But I did take the short trade here based off of an Elliott wave count. That was very nice because we got a 20% drop. And actually yesterday, as we took this high, I took another short trade, as you know, of course, now closed once again, similar to the $48,000 one. Uh, but that here ended in a 15% drop to the downside. And this is where we have Elliott wave counts lining up together, a bullish count, a bearish count. And of course, the bearish count is much more bearish. The bullish count looks similar to this. We reject off of the all-time high. We get the pullback into a higher low continuation to the upside. All I will say is this was, of course, very, very, very quick and doesn't follow the wave four because it's so quick, but it helped in terms of the guidelines, right? Rejection swing failure pattern, top of the three, looking back for the pullback to around $60,000, just under for the wave four, continuation of wave five. So then you got wave one, two, three, four, five. We have 
very quick fashion finished that way forward but then i just will just c confirm this i don't believe this is the way for it was too quick so it's more likely we're still extending in the thirds because this fourth in, in a day wouldn't uh, line up with the length of the wave two so i will just say this that this is too quick so it's likely that this is still an extension in the third so the third goes higher but it was lovely for me to take that short yesterday because i had a bullish and a bearish count lining up together to basically tell me short the swing failure pattern i shorted the swing failure pattern of course i took price down to my target area i am now long so i am expecting new all-time highs i'm expecting this third to come up higher right but that was nice to see in terms of my Elliott waves for that to line up, just as it did at $48,000 here. From $48,000 over 20% drop, here we had around a 15, just over percent drop to the downside. And so final thing that I want to mention before I'm going on to what's happening next is this. This is why we short at the highs when we get massive FOMO and quite simple swing failure pattern trade setups at the range high and this is why we also long at the lows okay this is why we long at the lows we get short trades at the high while most are ultra euphoric and we get long trades at the lows while most are fearful and bearish and i've already told my team my expectation is we will go on to make all-time highs above seventy thousand dollars yet next i got the reaction i got the long and now i am looking for higher so let me explain exactly where so we have some a few major targets. The main thing I wanted to tell you about in this video is what's happened, why I'm not shorting the retest. Again, I could be wrong. <laughs> I am still remaining on a very nice winning streak, but at some point I'm going to be wrong. Am I going to be wrong here? That was the all-time high, and from here it's down. Well, if that's the case, I'm going to lose a lot of profit once... Once and if that happens, right? So <laughs> would lose a lot of profit, but I'm sticking to my plan. I am following my expectations based off the statistics, order flow, and reading of the market that I have. I'm looking for new all-time highs. I would love to see $70,000 taken out. So I do believe now you have a lot of shorts opening with stop loss just above 70,000, right? That is kind of a big psycho psychological number. Just as yesterday, when we got the long trade big, taken off of big psychological $60,000, gives a lovely long trade entry because a lot of people have their stops below 60,000. So the same now with their lots of stops on shorts above 70,000. I'd really love to see price take out 70,000. Just above that, we have a lot of confluence at around 72,000, right? So we have a little bit of zone 72, 75, 85 thousand dollars, of course. <laughs> um, so those are the next like zones that I'm looking at in terms of what I have above us in new all time highs. Of course, we don't have any naked portly controls or a higher term time frame levels. This is where, when we're looking at new all time highs, we have to use Fibonacci work. We have to use Elliott Wave work, okay? Those are the two primary tools. Of course, we can add things in, like we can add a little bit of geometry. For example, uh, looking at uh, pitchforks, you know, we can use channels. But my preferred, like the top, if you want to say top two tools for all time highs are Elliott Waves and uh, Fibonacci. So those are the primary tools that we got to be using. Uh, what I will do is course i make videos uh, very very regularly uh so far this week i've made one a week on youtube um but you know the primary place where i'm sharing my analysis where i'm giving my updates is inside of the champions discord right i've already gone through an elliott wave stream where i've given my all-time high predictions which are above seventy thousand dollars i would like to see above that so if you want to watch my elliott wave stream then of course that is already on the website and you can get those predictions of where I'm looking for above all time high. That is, you know, over an hour long stream because it takes a long time to do the Elliott Waves Fibonacci work to reach those predictions. Okay, so I will just say that. Uh, in this video, I can give a quick overview, right? Because I don't have an hour to, to do on this YouTube video. So really simply, I educate you with what's going on here, how we had to remain patient follow a plan, trade the reaction, look at the order flow, because the order flow gave you the trap traders to confirm. Then it comes down to losing, or not losing, but managing those emotions to happily take a short at the high. Once you've been planned for it, you get the reaction, take it, and happily take a long at support when you get the reaction and you've been planned for it. You've got to be taking those long trades at support, those short trades at the high. Now, I am not shorting the retest, as I know many are. I am not shorting the retest. I am looking for new all-time highs. 
I am looking for above $70,000. Next confluence is around 72 to 75. Uh, if you want to know, again, live, real time, like what I'm going to be looking for, then, you know, I'll post the reaction, whether I'm taking it long, whether I'm remaining long and chill, whether, you know, exactly what I'm looking at next upon, if I'm correct and we hit a new all-time high, always going to be first in the champions group, okay? With that, I just want to say this. Although you might think this looks like a signals group, <laughs> you would be disappointed because we are not a signals group. We are an educational focus group. I am not a financial advisor, of course. I am just giving my opinions and thoughts on the market and I'm focused on education. I'm definitely focused on that. I want to teach you so you can do this yourself at some point. You can come in, you can understand, you can watch our daily live streams. You can understand we're giving you, um, you know, walkthroughs of the market and predictions of what we think is happening. But the main focus is educating you, giving you the education in these streams, teaching you why we get it, what we're looking for and the reasons why. Of course, this YouTube video is very, you know, simple and <laughs> in, in comparison to what we have on the website. And so if you want that real information, if you want the full depth, all as much as we are looking at you get is all via the platform on chartchampions.com. OK, I will end by saying this. I know a lot of people uh, from <clears throat> sorry. I know a lot of people from the Netherlands have been having uh, regulation issues. And I'll just put this out there that if you're looking for a new exchange, then Bing X is a non KYC. So you do not need to KYC at the moment on Bing X. Right. So that's uh, an option for a lot of people now that are having a regulation issues. So Bing X is an option. Of course, you can always use a VPN with this. Um, and another option that people are looking at is the Palau ID, right? So this is a, another option for people. Uh, so we got a few options that we will throw out there for people that are looking or needing a new exchange, right? And as always, we get, we try and partner with these exchanges that we feel are good and, you know, we'll always have the best deal. So if you want to find a new exchange, if you're looking for something, uh, we obviously got prop firms, which are very open for a lot of people. We got Bing X, which is non-KYC. Um, and that's all the deals, the best deals that we can get uh, that are available for the public via the deals section on our website. So just putting that out there for the people that are in need of that too. Uh, other than that, I hope that you've thoroughly enjoyed. I hope that you've understood. That's the main thing I want is I want you to understand. And, you know, I really hope that this can assist you. And if you want to start taking it more seriously, you know where to be, chartchampions.com. You'll have the full education help alongside you. As Eagle right now, as just one minute ago, started his daily morning live stream update. I, along with the other champs, are going to be saying good morning to Eagle watching this as he will talk you through in much more depth Bitcoin, what he's looking at in terms of the next trade setups, much more focused than a look at the stock market too, ES, NQ. You know, you got stocks and you got the stocks and Bitcoin update happening in five seconds. So I'm going to go and join that. Hope you've enjoyed. Thank you ever so much. And yeah, if you want to make profits, you know where to be, chartchampions.com. Thank you. And that's me signing out. Goodbye.